Hi, I'm Sir Francis. I'm going to teach and help you develop a program in Java using jCreator. Let's begin. So before we move along into uh, getting familiar with the environment of jCreator, let us first install jCreator in our computer. Let me show you how. So I'm going to open uh, this folder first and then open a jCreator folder. We're going to install jCreator first. So double click this file. Okay, and there will be a series of dialog boxes that will guide us through the process of installing jCreator in our computer. Now press next. Click I accept the agreement. Press next. Now you don't have to change any of the settings. Press next. Okay, uh, jCreator is now asking us, would, would you like the folder to be created? Of course, press yes. And then press next. So we do want an icon uh, created on our desktop. So, right. Now on this, uh, dialog box, the last step in the procedure of installing jCreator, we're going to uncheck this box first before we click finish because we still have to install other files. Okay, click finish and then we're going to proceed to the next folder. Open JDK and double click this file. And again, a series of dialog boxes will appear. Okay. So, click I accept the terms, press next, press next. Okay, now it's asking us, would you like to install it? Okay, so since we already have installed this uh, program before, so I'm going to uh, click uh, no. Okay, but in your case, that will not appear. Okay, so we're done with the second installer, click finish. Now we proceed to the last installer. So I'm going to open jgrasp okay, and install this application. Okay, so double click. All right, press next. I agree. Next, 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 and install. All right, we're done. So we are about to click finish. Okay. So right now, we're done with the installation. Let's open jCreator for the first time. Now, when you try to open jCreator, a dialog box will appear. Just click Finish. So this is how jCreator looks like. As you can see, uh, you will notice on the very top of this uh, environment, we have here what we call title bar. It holds the title of your project, okay? And uh, underneath the title bar uh, is the main or the menu bar, okay? So the menu bar holds the features of jCreator, all right? So underneath the menu bar, we have the toolbar. Uh, toolbar consists of uh, pictures or images. Uh, actually, they represent shortcut, right? They represent the shortcut based on the features that we can find inside the menu bar, okay? And then the file view contains uh, the files uh, within our program, okay? The workspace, and here are the uh, Java files, okay? The package view contains the package uh, found in your program, okay? And you have here the general output. Now, this will tell you if you can run your program without errors, or if jCreator found something wrong with your code or instructions, okay? And last, we have here the code editor. Now, the code editor, this is where you are uh, supposed to write down all the codes or instructions needed within your program, okay? That's it. If you have a question, you can ask me through my email at sermiconunyes at gmail.com and remember, to proceed to your module and answer some questions in your worksheet. Good luck.